Well, above average temperatures, drier conditions, they are expected to dominate the region really for that extended forecast. Got to wait for the middle of that work week. Certainly not that tropical moisture we were dealing with during the middle of last work week. Out there right now, those satellite radar, not a cloud in the sky. We're staying dry as well, and this is that pattern that we are expected to linger. 80 degrees Colorado Spring, that's about 5 degrees above that 75 degree average for this time of the year. Similar situation down in Pueblo, 81, that seasonable average for this time of the year. So just a few degrees above average, really region wide, anywhere from five to 10 degrees. And that is what we are expecting for the next few days or so with that exception of Sunday. If you are headed out and about tonight, beautiful weather is in that forecast. It will continue again into tomorrow. Perhaps that Pueblo Chile and Frijoles Festival is on that list to do. Well, today and tomorrow, beautiful days to get that done. We stay dry for the remainder of that day today. Fall is in the air. They may need to remember that extra layer if you are headed out and about tonight. 60s by 11 p.m. down in Pueblo. Don't forget that extra layer, like we're saying, if you are headed out and about. Now, we head into tomorrow. A front does move through, so this is the one day in that extended forecast that does look like seasonable temperatures not breaking that 80 degree mark throughout the region. 75 degrees, that forecast at high Colorado Springs right on par with that seasonable average. And take a look at these icons throughout the region. Plenty of sunshine out there. Few filtered clouds can't be rolled out. Even below average Pueblo, 78 degrees in that forecast. Now, out towards the plains, not even breaking that 80 degree mark. Again, plenty of sunshine, but still mid to upper 70s is that running forecast for tomorrow really is going to be that pick of the week to get any of those outdoor activities done before that heat does build back. So wind's going to be coming out of the northwest for tomorrow. That's the region we're going to be a bit cooler. We're tapping into some of those cooler Canadian temperatures, but this is not going to last for too long. So tomorrow, head to the Pikes Peak Regional Air Show. Going to be a beautiful day to do that 75 degrees, that forecasted high. Plenty of sunshine and the winds should cooperate a bit on the gustier side, but 10 to 15 miles per hour. Not as bad as we have seen in the past here in Colorado. So for the next three days or so, plenty of sunshine in that forecast. But then we do start to introduce the return, at least of some of those rain chances as we do get towards the middle of that work week. Now for your seven day forecast, Woodland Park, very comfortable temperatures in that forecast for tomorrow. We get back a little bit above average as we start that work week. Again, rain chances for the high country can't be ruled out. Similar situation out in Canyon City. Comfortable temperatures for tomorrow. We get back into the 80s and then you start to see the attempt for some of that moisture to make a return with the greatest risk, obviously, during the end of that work week as we do get into the weekend. Down in Pueblo, we're going to get below average for tomorrow. Take a look at that, though. 85 degrees for your Monday. Plenty of sunshine. Sunshine. Then we see the return of those clouds and rain chances by the end of that work week. Downtown Colorado Springs, 75, the average for this time of the year. For tomorrow, right on par with that. Plenty of sunshine, beautiful fall weather in the forecast for your Sunday. The nice way to end that first weekend of fall, but then we get into that work week. We really got to wait till the end once again for the greatest chance of any of those rain chances in that forecast. Temperatures, though, above average across the board.